Hey everybody, so recently we figured out that to accelerate an object we have to apply a push or a pull, or we can simplify that to a force. A force is a push or pull, and we need to push or pull something in order to change its motion. But then we realized, we found out, that applying a force doesn't always change the motion of an object. And so what really is responsible for changing the motion of an object, for accelerating that object? Um, and the answer is a net force. So what exactly is a net force and why is it important? Uh, a net force is the sum of all of the forces acting on an object. Uh, so if we take all of the forces accounting for their magnitude and their direction, uh, and we add all that together, we get a sum, a net force, um, that will tell us how the object accelerates. And the object is going to behave as if it has only that single force acting on it. So for example, uh, if we look at the simulation picture here in the bottom right, um, all of the figures are pulling on the rope, and that is pulling on the cart. Uh, if we take all of the forces from those figures and we add them all up, again, including their direction, um, so the positives meaning rightward, the negatives meaning leftward, we get a total sum of zero. So our net force on this cart is zero, and that cart is going to behave as if there is zero newtons of force acting on it. So a net force is what really tells us if the object is going to accelerate or not. Uh, in this case, the net force is zero. The object's going to behave as if there is zero force on it, uh, which means it's not going to do anything. So here's another example. I have an object with several forces acting on it. Uh, and I want to know if it's going to accelerate. So the way I can figure that out is I can add up all the forces, including their directional components, so making sure I include the positive and negative for these forces. Uh, so for the leftward forces, I use negative. For the rightward forces, I use positive. Uh, and when I find the total, the sum of those forces, I get a positive 6 newtons. So the net force on this object is 6 newtons to the right, and this object is going to uh, act as if that is the only force acting on it. And so because I have a net force uh, in the rightward direction, this object will accelerate in the rightward direction. So when we're talking about all of these forces, if they do happen to cancel out, um, we would say they're balanced. If they don't cancel out, we'd say they're unbalanced. So unbalanced forces referring to forces acting on an object that all don't just cancel each other out, resulting in some net force that is not zero. So for example, in the picture, we have uh, a 150 newtons leftward and 50 newtons rightward. Those don't cancel each other out. There's some leftover force in the leftward direction. And we see that here in our sum of forces, our net force uh, being 100 newtons in the leftward direction. That's what's left over. Um, and that object is going to behave as if it has a single 100 newton uh, force acting on it. Um, so again, uh, for unbalanced forces, all of the forces add up to a non-zero number. Um, the object will react as if it only has that net force acting on it. Um, and so if there is a net force, the object will accelerate. On the flip side, balanced forces means that the forces all cancel each other out and net force is equal to zero. So there's equal force pulling in both directions. Uh, these forces cancel, resulting in a net force of zero. And so the object is going to behave as if it has no force acting on it and therefore no acceleration. So here's some practice problems for you, and you can pause in between each one so you can give it a try before the answer is shown. Uh, but the first one is an object at rest leaves a stop sign and increases speed to 10 meters per second. So try to decide if the forces are balanced or unbalanced. And again, you can pause now to give it a shot. And the answer to this one is that forces are unbalanced. And how do we know that? Well, we see that there was an increase in speed, which means there was a change in velocity, which means the object accelerated. So is it accelerating? Yes. That means forces must be unbalanced because net force is not zero. How about this one? An object travels at a constant speed in the northbound direction. So we see constant speed and in one direction. So in this case, the object is not accelerating. Its speed is the same, its direction is the same, so therefore we can say net force must be zero, these forces must be balanced. 
How about this one? An object travels at a constant speed as it turns around an off-ramp. So we see that it is traveling at a constant speed and it is turning around an off-ramp. In this case, we do have acceleration because it's turning, it's changing direction. Therefore, there must be unbalanced forces acting on the object to cause its velocity to change. So unbalanced forces, net force is not zero in this case um, and because we see that it's accelerating. And finally, an aircraft slows to a stop on the runway after landing. Are forces balanced or unbalanced? In this case, we see that it is slowing to a stop. There is acceleration, and if there's acceleration, there must be a net force, which tells us that the forces are unbalanced. A couple more practice problems for you. In this case, I want to know if it's going to accelerate or not. So an object at rest has three newtons and negative three newtons of force acting on it. Will it accelerate? And in this case, the answer is no, because the forces are balanced. When we find the net force, 3 plus negative 3, that's 0. Net force is 0. The object is going to act as if there's no force acting on it. Therefore, there's nothing that's going to change its velocity. All right, an object in space is traveling at 300 meters per second when all of the forces acting on it stop. So all the forces go away. Okay, there's no force at all acting on this object. What is it going to do? Is it going to accelerate or not? And the answer is it will not because if there's no force at all, there's no forces to add together, net force is already zero. And so if forces are balanced, net force is zero, no acceleration. An object is traveling at negative five meters per second when a net force of two newtons acts on it. Will the object accelerate? And the answer is yes, because forces are unbalanced. If there is a net force, a leftover force, that is going to determine the motion of the object or the change in motion of the object. So because net force is not zero, we can say this object will accelerate.